In order to access your course sequence, Sigmund Community College, you'll need to use Blackboard Learn by logging into the queue first. So let's log into the queue with our supplied username and password. Once we have logged into the queue, we can move our mouse over to the right-hand side of the welcome page and find the Blackboard image. To log in with a single click, click on the image and we'll be automatically logged in to our course area. Once we have logged into Blackboard, we'll arrive on the Welcome tab. The welcome tab is divided into three columns. The column on the left contains your My Communities, also contains your My Course area, where you can click on your courses to access them, and you can also group these by term. It also contains an area with information about our library, and if you need to request a library barcode. The center column contains an area for My Course Messages, so that if you are enrolled in a course in Blackboard and the faculty member chooses to use the internal course message system, you can click on your messages here. It also contains a link to QMail sign-on page. We will need to enter in your full email address as your username and your QMail password, which is different from the queue. Also contains an area for my announcements where we have institution-wide or course-based announcements. Column on the right contains a what's new area where you can see if there's any new blogs or discussion boards or content in the courses that you're enrolled. It also contains a to-do area and it also contains a module for you to log into Starfish where you can go to the home page or your profile with one click. Moving across the top of Blackboard, we have our Welcome tab. We have a Start Here tab. We also have a tab that accesses our library information. We have a tab for My Files and also a tab for My Help where you'll be able to access technical help for Blackboard through frequently asked questions, a live web chat, submitting a ticket. Good luck using Blackboard, and please understand that not all faculty will put information in Blackboard. You should check back periodically or contact your faculty member at the start of the semester.